Well, Baltimore County police have arrested and charged three people with cruelty to animals and intent to distribute marijuana. Investigators say they were operating a dog fighting ring at a home in the 7500 block of Lang Street. That's in the Dundalk area. 11 News reporter John Sherman joins us live tonight with the very latest on the story. John? Yes, Dan, police say it's very clear what was happening inside that home, but a lot of folks who live nearby just aren't buying it. They were never like that. Her dogs have better beds than we sleep in. Danielle Schaff had plenty to say about her three neighbors just busted by police for allegedly dealing drugs and fighting pit bulls. The dogs were not fighting. You could go to the pound. Her dogs have no marks on them. Danielle says they took in pit bulls to care for them and that one of the arrested neighbors is a vet tech, but police have a very different take on it. Detectives found items like weights used to strengthen the dogs chains, treadmills used to run the dogs, again, to increase their stamina. But the neighbors offer a far more innocuous explanation for both the weights and the treadmill. It was fought up here on German Hill Road for $30. The girl wanted to lose some hips, if you know her. She's a little hippie, a little built, chubby like me. And she got the running mill for that. That's what she got it for. Now, when did the, I never seen one of those dogs on that running mill. Oh, no! Okay, let's go back. You see that weight right there? We got that out of an eviction. Me and her, it was handcuffs on a weight. We got that out of an eviction. The suspects also had, and this is extremely alarming to us, a large quantity of veterinarian-type medications, pills, steroids that were being used to inject the dogs, antibiotics, and medicated bandages. IVs and syringes used to treat these animals, in some cases severely wounded. I've never seen anything. You know, I've just seen the dogs outside. They were never, you know, they were just dogs outside. They protect the house. And there was always like three or four or five dogs out here. And, they, and whenever you just walk by, they run up to the fence, try to jump on you, and, you know, stuff like that. Is it safe, you think? Uh, they don't ever come over the fence, so yeah, it's pretty safe. So how do the dogs really look? These dogs look like they're okay. They're in okay shape. They, they, have not, they don't have signs of current injuries. Um, the veterinarian's assessment is still going on, but they're clearly not. Uh, they haven't fought this week or last. Police say their investigation began in November of 2009. Reporting live, John Sherman, WBAL-TV 11 News.